Hey, 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 my name is Joseph Blackman. I'm the owner of Instant Imprints in Concord, California. And now we're talking about hand, how to handle a one-off. A one-off or a onesie or, or a one-timer. That, well, all that is is one person coming in, they just want one thing, one time. You know it's one time. Like it might be Christmas, they just might want one stocking. It's like one, wow, wait, one. So it's it's it's... It's money. It's, com it's money coming in. Uh, we do one-offs. Uh, we, we like to tell people we don't have a minimum. You can do one. You can do zero if you want. We don't want you to do zero, but we, you could do one if you want. So, a one-off. My first tip is to kill it. You got to kill it. So, if they want something, just a one-off. If they have like a handkerchief and they just want their kid's name on it, you got to do it great. You got to be great at it. You got to do it right. You got to do it in the right location, right size, right color, everything. You got to kill it. Kill it. Make them ecstatic because the one-off type of people are the people who say, oh, a little to the left, a little to the right. But it's cool because once you get a little to the left, a little to the right, right where they want it, boom, they're happy. They're ecstatic. They're going to sing your song. They're going to post it on Facebook. They're going to post it on their Instagram. They're going to tell all their family members about it. They're going to tell Santa Claus about it. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna be so happy with the product that you gave them because they, they think about it. All month they thought about, hmm, how can I get this handkerchief embroidered right? I, what, what, I want my daughter's name on my handkerchief. You know, that would be so cool if I could do that. Then boom, they find your store on the internet because they're on Google looking around when you're optimized. You're at the top of the list and boom, they find you. They come over or they call over. And then they're like, hey, can you do the handkerchief? And we say, yeah, 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 we can do the handkerchief. So you do the handkerchief for them and boom, they love it. You got to kill it. Got to kill it. Um, they're 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 gonna love you for it. And my second tip is to ask for a referral because people be, people who do one offs they have friends. You know they got other lives. You know, they, they do other stuff as well. And you'd be surprised. They probably talked about it with their friend. Say hey, you know the, the friend that shot you down here. The friends you probably asked where, where to go or you know who to go to to get your product done. And, well, do, do they need anything? Uh, they probably said they might have wanted something as well. Tell them to come on down. Or, or do you have a number for me? Do you have an email address or do they have a business? Do they have a website? Can I thank them for sending you down? Uh, you know, ask for the referral. Ask, 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 put, when you ask somebody for a referral, it puts them in a position of power, meaning that they can say, hmm, you know, I, I could give this kid a referral or I, or I could not. You know, so, so you put them in a position of power, and if you kill it, if they love the product, they're going to give you a referral. So say, hey, you know, is, is, you know, do, does your husband want this name like on one of his, um, I don't know, uh, one of his handkerchiefs, like on his bath towel? Uh, do you want the his and hers handkerchiefs? And they go, hmm, yeah, well, if you did a good job on that first product, boom, they're going to send you another product with a referral. My third tip is to follow up. After Christmas, call them and say, hey, you know, did, 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 did so-and-so like her handkerchief with your daughter's name on it? They'll go, yeah, 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 she loved it, she cried, everybody was happy, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I meant to come down and call you guys and tell you guys what wonderful of a job you did. They, <laughs> nine times out of ten, they won't come down, but they, they thought to, they wanted to, but no, you just call them, you follow up with them, tell them that, hey, you know, if, if you need anything else, if you need a New Year's shirt or a, a Valentine's shirt or... A, you know, if next Christmas, come on back. We'll take care of you. We got your information. We got you in our system. We got your artwork. We know your daughter's name. We know what size handkerchief. We can do it perfectly, perfectly again next time. So my three tips are to kill it. You got to do it right. Do it right. Do it great. Make them love you. You got to bust it open. Ask for a referral. Ask for them. Say, hey, do you know anybody that might want this? Something similar? Your friend might have a daughter with the handkerchief. You want to put her name on it too? Boom. Give her a referral. And follow up. Because they're, it's a one-off. They're probably not going to come back. Um, you know, it, it, that's all they wanted. They've been thinking about that for months. So they found you. They came down. You made them. You made them love it. Um, so ask. You know, follow up. You know, say, hey, how'd it go? How'd it go over? You know, did they like it? Did they love it? You know, which one? Like it or love it? Do they want? It? Do you want another one? I can do another one for you. <laughs> follow up. Once again, my name is Joseph Blackman, owner of Instant Imprints in Cocker, California. Feel free to shoot out a question or uh, share this video, and uh, I'll see you guys at the top. All right, bye-bye.